Welcome back, guys, to On Base in your Bleacher Report app. Today, we got Mike Harris, 2022 NL Rookie of the Year. Mike, what's going on, baby? Nothing much. I'm just glad to be here. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for coming. Before we uh, start talking about that Rookie of the Year stuff and all those things, uh, you tweeted, I don't know what day it was, a little bit ago. Oh, yeah. What, what was that? Because you were coming on here? Uh, no. Nah. What was that for? The, the fans want to know. I got uh, to know. Dang, I didn't think you was going to see that. Uh, I seize everything. Yeah, honestly, I just, ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, um, there you go. I just felt like myself again. I was getting back in my groove, so I tweeted that. And, uh, yeah. Getting hopefully. back in your groove. What yeah, does so that mean? I'm starting to find my swing again after the There we go. Okay, yeah. now there's a little, I just wanted to bring it out. Look confidence. Ain't, that ain't yeah, hard, yeah, mind. yeah, yeah. So I'm just kind of manifesting. Okay, all right, all right. We're, we're going to get, get into that. But before we get into that, I'd like to play a game. You know, the name of the show was On Base. And so we have a game that we always start out with called uh, on base off base you're mm-hmm. in or out all right you know about that so the first thing i want to ask is about big hats are you in or out on big hats i mean it grew on me i i was i was on base so you, you, you were now you're off they took it away so i mean i didn't mean you're off base on it no i'm on base you're still on i'm on base. so why did they take it away what, what was their theory behind that it was um, i thought it was pretty pretty cool yeah it was new era it was uh, I guess we couldn't we couldn't wear it because it was a. Oh, I get so it. Era was it kind of looked like a a new era hat, and it mm-hmm. didn't have their logo. And, I get it though. They gotta do what yeah. they gotta do, man. So so now yeah. what's what's the new? Do you have another one? Do you Ooh, have another one? We just yeah. got regular high fives. Just, That's just it. fives. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But what's what? That's what we do. So what about this? I, I got I got, and I'm totally on base on this. Magic City Wings. I mean, from what I've heard, you yeah, have? I haven't. No, no. Oh my gosh, you never. You're you. You're in Atlanta, from Atlanta, play for Atlanta, and they had their wings. I think it's nothing but trouble in Magic City, so I'm gonna stay away Except from it. Except, right but now. this ain't. We not talking about that. We talking about the wings. You don't walk in Magic City just for the. Well, some people that probably do, but there's a lot of things going on around the wings. There so. are a lot of things going on around <laughs> the wings, but <laughs> so I'm gonna take you one day. We're gonna go. Eat some wings, dog. All right. All right. All right. I mean, We're going to make it happen. What about country wings? music? Are you in or out on oh, country music? Oh, no. I love country music. Love country music. Yeah, I got my own who's, playlist. Uh, who's, look, give me an artist, a couple artists on your playlist. My favorite, Jason Aldean. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you go to a Jason Aldean concert? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean. That says a lot about you, Mike. I'm, I'm very diverse. I like yeah. I like all types of uh, music. So, yeah. So so who else? Aldean, who else? Chris Stapleton. Oh, so uh, you 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 country? Yeah, I'm in there. You all I'm in, in there. there? Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. What about what about Migos has more hits than Lil Baby? Who, who are you in or out on that? I think that's true. Yeah, they I mean they've been out longer, and yeah, I, for sure. I don't know how I feel about that yet. They, I think they have more more known hits, more I guess universal, maybe, universal hits. Maybe I, I I don't I don't know. Well. It doesn't matter. They have a you're, lot of hits. You're in on that, though. Yeah, yeah. What about, uh, so you're a sports fan you're from Atlanta, this, that, and the other. What about, uh, like, the Hawks? You watch the Hawks? Of course. What about uh, Trey Young? You in or out on Trey Young? I'm on base. I'm I think rounding, he's cold. rounding the bases. I think he's cold. Yeah. I think he's cold. He's, he's, and they've yeah, been pretty good. Yeah. They're a couple pieces away. Yeah, that's what I think. Away. Yeah. This but year was good, but. They've been, they've been good. So, do you, how often do you go to games? Uh, I think I went, I went twice, two or three times this off season. So, and do you sit courtside? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with the glasses and everything, huh? You hard when you walk in. You got nah, the, little, I you got the, the bag. You, 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 you like, man, I'm gonna walk in with a straight face. Like I'm hard. I want everybody looking at yeah, me. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really, nah, but it, I am courtside sometimes. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the nickname Money Mike, man. Where did that come from? Uh, it actually came from a coach. Okay. I guess I would come up in, in clutch situations and kind of just like get the job done or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I mean, ever since then, I it stuck with me. I made it my username on like Twitter. And I guess once I got called up, yep. uh, various fans really kind of, uh, brought it out and made it a, a bigger thing. Right. I, I like it. I think it's hard. Yeah. I think yeah. it's hard. So let's go back to, to young money, Mike. Mm-hmm. 
you you play baseball, obviously. What other sports did you play? Pretty much everything. Everything. Uh, basketball. What football. was your favorite one? Other than other than baseball? Yeah. Baseball Probably. wasn't my favorite sport. Really? I did baseball kind of fell in my lap. Everybody knows I was hooping during the summer. Okay. Yeah. See I was skipping baseball tournaments to go hoop. And you know, I, I just end up being good enough at baseball to get drafted or whatever. But yeah. But yeah, and no, I like so so yeah, what's your favorite one? Probably basketball. But I wish I would have started golf when I was younger. Not that I'm playing now. Golf. I yeah. wish I wish I wish I would have started yeah. golf too. Golf but is it, like you gotta play golf. Yeah. But the thing with basketball, I couldn't I couldn't do it as a as a career because I only, I only hit, uh, shoot from my half court, so I'm not. You only shoot from half court. Yeah, I get you a rebound, dish it out, and I'm shooting half court when you bring when you come back down. What so. What's your theory behind the half court shots? Oh, I just shoot. That's so just, shoot or shoot. You were Steph Curry before Steph Curry. Before yeah. okay. Yeah. Shot half court shots. Was they going in though? Oh yeah. Shooting half court shots. Yeah. Getting uh, getting all rebound. You wasn't going there and getting rebounds. I don't like going inside the, the too, three point too line. Close. Yeah. I mean, I get some rebounds and and dish it out to you, but, but it's got to be the long rebounds. No, no, I will go down there. Oh, you'll go down there too. A, yeah, but I'm not going up for a layup and contest it in the uh, lane. No. Nah, is that because you were scared to get hurt or something? Yeah, or that's just... that's injuries and in, I guess in high school, you know, a lot of football players try to play basketball. So yeah, you get dangerous. And, and they're tackling with shoulders and half stuff court things. Yeah, mm. shaking my head. So what about <laughs> this? So you 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 wanted to be a veterinarian. I I heard that through the grape grapevine. What what kind of animals did you have growing up? None. No animals. None you have no experience with animals, yet nope. you want to work on them. No, nah, I had a lot of friends that had, like, dogs or whatever, and I... Was you I scared of them? No. Nah, I fell in love with a lot of dogs. And I guess that's why I, like, I wanted to be a vet, because I, I like so, animals. So, so was it, like, vet on just dogs or all animals? No. Like, all house house pets, I guess. So you, nah. you would snakes and everything. You like it all? Snakes? I mean, I guess. Yeah, you wouldn't really work on snakes as much, I don't think, but... Yeah, just, you don't take the snake to the vet. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, how do you know something wrong with the the snake though? I can't answer that. Yeah. You supposed to be the vet. You know. Nah, see, I didn't look that far into snakes because I was doing just regular, you regular, just animals. domestic house yeah, pets. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so so then you you playing ball. I used to come to East Cobb all the time. That was my stomping grounds. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming you played a whole lot of East Cobb as well. How was that? Like how when I started East Cobb, the East Cobb Astros, that was the team. Yeah, yeah. The Astros. And I'm like, oh, every time we had to play the Astros, we got waxed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even know who all I played against, but but who was the who was who was the East Cobb team as you were coming up? Who were they? Yeah. Uh... Who was the team? Hmm. The teams that like, okay. In East Cobb, because it was the Astro. Any team, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, of course, yeah, East Cobb Astros. But like every year, they would, well, every tournament, they would add a new player. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you don't know, you don't know what you're getting. And you didn't want to play with them. Play with them? Yeah, I did for a year. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I okay. left after that. Yeah, you left I mean, after that, and then yeah. where'd you go? Did you did you still stay with teams here in Georgia, or did you kind of move around and play with other teams from other other states? No, it was it was teams in Georgia, but it was like. Not in the Atlanta area. Mm -hmm. It was y'all went everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Still Florida. same tournaments. Did you yeah. ever go out west? Nah, I've never, I never. Never had west a tournament either. out west. Yeah, nah. I mean it's all. Out. It's all the best tournaments were here. So yeah. okay, so then you're playing ball through through uh, high school, mm -hmm. and you get recruited um, by LSU to be just a pitcher. Right. How was that, bro? Like you enjoy you you enjoy pitching like that? Like uh, that was, or is that just something you were just good at? Yeah, I did. I did love pitching, but I also wanted to to hit. So, yep. uh, once they just offered for pitching, I kind of ruled them out. They were my dream school, too. So, Oh, your, they your dream school. Yeah. Missed out on Money Mike. Yeah, if they would have gave me the two-way, maybe I would have signed there. Do you, do you talk to the coaches now? No. Nah, nah. Oh, you don't talk to none of them? No. Nah. Wait, which coaches? The, the coaches that, yeah, that recruited you. No, not Because so I had no. a situation. I wanted to go to Kentucky. Mm-hmm. And that was like my dream school, Kentucky, yeah. Kentucky, Kentucky. And I talked to the coaches a couple of times, you know, when they, you can get the call. Yeah. <laughs> and I called them or they called me and we talked and I thought it was all great. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then as I was going through my senior year or whatever, I just stopped hearing from them. Yeah. And, um, 
they said they had a recruiting class the year prior and they didn't really need me anymore, which I understood, but they didn't call me until I got made it. They didn't call me back. I didn't talk to them until I made it back to the, I made, I made it to the big league. So I got a random call one day and it was a coach and he kind of told me how I played out. So I didn't know if that kind of happened to you, you know, with the, uh, with them, like, did they apologize? Cause look at you now, bro. Nah, I mean, it happened. I mean, I don't, I haven't talked to him since. So, 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 okay. You got drafted. End up signing, going through the minor leagues. Tell me about the minor leagues, bro. How did you enjoy it? Honestly, I kind of did. Uh, you know how everybody tells you it was like a grind down there. You uh, didn't I, grind at all. I mean, I grinded, but I guess I was having some good success, so it didn't feel like feel like a grind. And I was you shot through the minor leagues, just playing free, uh, kinda. I mean, we didn't have the season in twenty twenty, so right. Uh, I guess that that kind of I guess that kind of helped a little bit though, right? I think so, yeah, because we had the uh, alternate site, so I was up, I was nineteen up at the alternate site with the AAA and big league guys, so just playing so, them every day. And then you be how was it being around those guys, like being young? Oh yeah, it was um, it was cool because that was that that was that same year that I think we lost to y'all in the in the playoffs, and um, that was a that was a good team. So to have yeah. a lot of those guys come up and down and be able to face them it was it was kind of cool like i so, feel like i learned more yeah did, did that that really yeah. helped you uh mature faster you think yeah i feel like it was better than actually having a a, a season because i probably would have started in low a so probably wouldn't have seen all the talent that i did there so so you get you and then in double a you only play like 40 games then got called up right yeah, like 50 yeah, yeah yeah 50 games got called up so when you got called up and you you called your mama what'd you say yeah, I call, first I called my dad. Oh, uh, called Pops. Okay. What'd you but say? I, I called him and added my mom to the call, but I didn't know they were like right next to each other in the bed at the time. Yep. So they're both on the phone and uh, I call them and just ask if they can pick me up from the airport tomorrow. Didn't, didn't even didn't even say why. And they just said, okay? No, my dad was like, stop playing. Oh, like, really? Yeah, okay. stop playing. Um, and they, so my mom's like, you going to Gwinnett? I was like, nah, I'm actually going higher. So they, they start freaking out. And of course, my mom calls everybody that she knows. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And it's like a bunch of people at the game the next day. I don't know mm -hmm. how because it, it was a day game. I don't know how she had enough time when I called her at Anything is possible, 11 right? or 12 at night. It's your mama. Yeah. Her baby made it. Yeah. I don't think they got some, that, any sleep that night. But no. I had to go out Did and face. Did you? Barely. Yeah. That's... I had to go out and face Sandy, too. So it was, oh, was kind of tough. Yeah. It is what it is, though. Yeah. So, so you on that day, like it was a day game. So you really that happened fast. So you really yeah. didn't even like have get time to really soak in it, like soak in BP and all those type of things. So I don't think when, I took BP. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably not on a day game. Oh yeah, true. So, so your family was there. Were you nervous? What were you no, more nervous for, like hitting or, or 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 defense? It was really just getting the first at bat out of the way. Really? After I got the first at bat out of the way, I was I felt fine because. I mean, it's still the same game, yeah. same baseball. So I, I was, I was way more nervous to yeah. play defense than I was to hit. Really? Yeah, because hitting is like, it's. Kind, I mean, some of it's kind of luck. Like it's, you got to hit it where nobody is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's kind of hard to do. Right. Um, but when those guys make pitches, you got to catch the ball. Oh, and yeah. I, had, I was fresh into the outfield at that, yeah. that point. So, I was. I mean, if they hit me a fly ball. I hope I catch it. Legs you know, shaking. Legs shaking. Everything's <laughs> shaking, man. So, okay. So, one rookie of the year. How was that? Like, how how was how was having all that type of success? That was. I mean, that was crazy. I mean, I'm, just to think about, it, I was in Double A mm -hmm. uh, to start the year. Thought I would at least stop by Triple A, but called me up, and then after that, just went on to play play my game and and kind of like just do what I do. So. I guess it all just, all the pieces fell in the right spot, and I guess I won. So when you when you were having the success in one rookie of the year, were you like, man, this is like, it's the big leagues, but it's kind of easy. Like it's kind of easy, you know what I'm saying? Well, did that ever did that ever come in your mind? No, I wouldn't say it was easy. I mean, I guess I was just, I was just doing what I knew I could do. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Everything was just flowing, um, having fun, yeah. and winning games. So I guess yeah, I guess it made it all easier winning games and I mean, yeah, that playing with a fun Winning team. always makes everything easier. Yeah. So yeah. now this year you guys are playing well per usual, and this is your sophomore year. And mm -hmm. typically this is the time. And I know for me, I can speak from my experience. Like this is the time when I started to fail. Mm -hmm. And 
and it's hard. Yeah. It, it gets hard because you just went through success. You ball all through the minor leagues and you start balling the big leagues and then the league starts to, to, to just figure out, figure yeah. you out. And the game is just harder in general, right? right. Everybody's all the pitchers are coming up throwing 98. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I, I remember, golly, I, I don't know. I tried to do what I'm doing last year and it's not really working and I'm not really understanding the adjustments that need to be made. And, and so how are you, how are you going to continue your, the success that you had from your rookie year? Because I had to learn, like, I got to study yeah, and I got to, you know, work on my mechanics. I, I got to think along with the pitchers and think along through the situations of the whole game. Like how, how have you learned that? Or what have think, you learned? I mean, I feel like it's, it's harder right now for me. Cause I, I just came off the, the two injuries or whatever in my back mm -hmm. and then my knee. So I can, I think that kind of affected, affected my swing for a while, but yeah, that's why I made the, I guess that's why I made the tweet. Cause I'm starting to finally feel my swing and, and getting right back in this, uh, how I felt last year, and so and, just, that, and that 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 money, Mike, he he a problem, huh? Uh, he can. Be. Well, I mean, you put that 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 tweet up. It's got the you you got to know something coming. Yeah, he he can be a problem. You just yeah, I'm, we gotta wait and see. Yeah, we yeah. gotta wait and see. Okay, so <laughs> do you do you keep up with? Do you watch the, like the other the other uh like the West Coast? Should I say? Because from us, we're watching you guys. Yeah. So do y'all watch? us like after your after your game like do y'all watch do you watch baseball at all yeah i mean y'all are like the only team still playing because the west so i guess when we're, we're having our bus rides yeah. to the airport or something or so you're keeping uh, up with the league yeah i like to, I like to keep up I mean, so who who give me some rookies mm -hmm. this year that you've seen that have been like oh i think he's really good like here's some of your peers um corbin carroll mm -hmm. outman yep um Damn. Uh, who's in the? Did you play with any of these guys? I played against Gorman Carroll. I mean, I, I get against against. Yeah, I, pl okay. I played against him in a uh, travel ball. He had two home runs against us. So, oh, so you yeah. know him for a little while then. Yeah, he's been doing that and so yeah, showing. You said Alvin, and, and you know, I have my own personal opinion. But why do you think Alvin's Alvin's good? I mean. I mean, I feel like there's just no pressure on him. I mean, he mm -hmm. can he can kind of play free, and he's been doing that. He's that having some success. Because we have a, we have a really good a really good roster, and like you said, yeah. winning always helps. Yeah. I, so. I, my my thoughts on Outman is is not even baseball related. Mm -hmm. It's just how he handles himself. Right. I think he handles himself like a professional, and that's why he's always going to be good. That's always because he play. works hard. He does every, all those things, but like when things aren't going great, yeah, you can't tell. That's and that's, what, that's, that's one of play. the best things. Yeah. about him and really i think good players in general you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like just how they carry themselves you know, there's like a little confidence and, and those type of things that uh you just gotta exude right yeah nice word move okay so <laughs> and uh in 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 august last year you signed an extension mm -hmm. how was that process like uh because you see this money on a sheet of paper it's hard to say no you know what i'm saying and y'all got you came to terms and congratulations. Thank you. So how was it? Uh, it was kind of it was kind of crazy. I was only a month into the season. Yeah, it was quick. I got the yeah started the conversation with that and um, honestly, after I signed it, I would always forget that I actually did sign it during the season. Um, I would just have random times in outfield because you're out there thinking in outfield, and nobody talked to. So mm -hmm. I actually had a couple times where I'm like. Dang, I really, I really just signed this deal in in the state that I grew up in and, and the team I rooted for. So, yeah, it was it was kind of it was kind of crazy. And honestly, I, I still forget about it now because I'm just out there playing the game I've been yeah. playing and, and forget that it's actually my job. So, are you still like what, what was the first thing you bought when you when you signed the deal? Nothing. I mean, you didn't I, buy anything. No, nah, I mean, I already, no car, no house, no necklace no shoes i already had my car so it was like I so mean, you just, I don't really spend money you didn't you didn't buy your mama nothing buy pops nothing and, and that's cool if you didn't I, oh you know for saying? christmas i did i paid the mortgage off but oh nice okay okay so you and that you do nothing with your boys yeah you, i mean obviously you didn't go to magic city and get no wings so so you know what i'm saying what what, what did you you didn't do nothing nothing 
How I mean, do I just do nothing. Why? I just I just golf. I gotta buy golf balls, so I gotta save my money because you just, gotta buy I'm golf losing, balls. I'm you losing those money. every time I go out. So you signed eight year extension for golf balls. It could be. You ain't get no clubs. I already have them. You ain't get no new clubs. <laughs> I don't have to buy them. Okay. All right. You know what? Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, because you, yeah. you money might. Nah. You money might. Nah. Money might don't buy a golf club. <laughs> right? I guess. Okay. So <laughs> let, let me ask this. Since you play golf, do you, you've been watching, do you watch, you watch the, uh, all the terms and whatnot? Give me, yeah. give me, give me your foursome, a foursome that you would love, you would dream to play with, mm. including you. So I guess three people. So three. Good. No. I say Tiger, Rory, and John Rahm. Tiger, Rory, and John Rahm. You know you could you can actually make that happen. That's not even like a dream one, bro. Come on. Can I? Yeah, you can make your money, Mike. I don't have those. Money, I don't. Mike. I don't have that type of hit a couple more of... home runs. I bet you you can make a couple calls. All right. You know what I'm saying? You make a call. That that can happen. All right. So I, I'm a, I'm gonna go Tiger mm -hmm. for sure. But I want to play. I would want to play with like Jack Nicholas. Mm-hmm. And Arnold Palmer, because mm. so I want to see like, you know, the 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 older days how yeah. they play yeah. golf because you know it's not the same technology is not was not the same yeah. as it is really. now. And so, so how often do you play golf? In the off season, I was going at least maybe at least two times a week. Two times a to. week. Yeah. So, and do you, are you member somewhere? Nah. That's, so when you go, do you, do you just play with random people or do you always go with people you know? No, I always go with people I know. I feel like I can't, nah, can't do 18 holes with random people. That so I no. you think it's hard, but in Nashville, I am a member, member of the club. Mm -hmm. And before I became a member of the club, I would go to um, public courses and I would just get a random tea time. And I met a lot of people and it taught me how to talk to people. Mm. So just, I'm not, and I'm not even recommending that you do that now, but I'm just saying, no, it makes you, sense. It, you know, it just teaches you different because you don't know who you're paired with. Right. Right. And that's why I feel like I can go talk to a sign Paul. Yeah. Because I've played golf. Golf has taught me so much about life. So learn a lot on the golf course. You learn a lot on the golf course. So I want my daughter to play golf mm -hmm. and my son. I want my kids to play golf there as well. Go. I'm 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 trying to insert a golf club in their hand <laughs> as much as I can. So so last season, you know, you were sparked for Atlanta and 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 how, what is it like being around just a winning organization like that? Like cuz I think people don't understand because other organizations aren't like that, right? And so yeah. and maybe because it's all you know but like, what is it like being showing up and you know that your team is gonna have a chance to win every uh, every day? Um, the organization cares; they're gonna try and get the pieces or whatever it takes to help y'all win. Like, what is? How does that feel when you walk into the, the clubhouse? I think it just it just makes you play, uh, have more fun, and and I guess play looser because, I mean, everybody around you has the ability to to go out and, I guess, play at their play at their highest potential and mm -hmm. and affect the team in a good way. So. Um, just having, just having everybody on the team, uh, be able to do that. And do y'all have fun? Yeah. Oh boys. yeah. 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 We have, you got a good group of guys. Over yeah. There. I think that's the best thing about the team. Honestly. Um, not even, not even the skill set. It's just everybody, everybody can talk to each other and yeah. bond in different I mean, ways. You spend more time with them than anybody else. Exactly. So you're you gotta, with, you're you gotta hang with them, you know, all day, every yeah. day, really. Yeah. And so, and so do y'all have like any, uh, but you know what? What's your, like a, a routine for you? Give me like a routine, a routine day for Money Mike. You wake up in the morning, put the shades on, hat backwards, and then what up? Uh, I don't know. Uh, get up, probably be on my phone, be on TikTok for a little bit, just to just to wake my body up. Um, mm -hmm. So TikTok wakes you up. Yeah. Okay. Got some got some funny videos on my for you page. So. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't really do much before the game. I, so you just chill. Yeah, I chill and then go to the field. I remember them days, man. And, yeah. I leave sleep till twelve o'clock. Oh yeah, I'm sleeping in. Man, if I slept past nine thirty now, I feel like I missed the day is done. The day I is guess. over. With. Yeah. But I got two kids. I got a wife at home. I got you know certain yeah. responsibilities. So yeah, like I can't. 
really 10 o'clock is about as as far as i can go and then yeah i'm i'm a, that's why you said t- tiktok wakes you up i got people jumping in my face <laughs> you know what i'm saying but it is what it is you'll get you'll get there at some point so you don't have you, well, what about your routine on the road well tell me some about on the road you you have a routine that you go through um same thing so who packs your bag me you pack your bag yeah okay so yeah. when you go to pack your bag how do you pack it do you pack it in outfits or do you just throw jeans in there some shirts in there some nah, shoes in there i definitely pack it by outfits you pack it by outfits so how, if you have a six game road trip mm, that's tough ah uh, so i pack so we have six games i pack four maybe five outfits because we have on travel days we you have our the extra one in there just in case y'all go do something yeah, that's okay. the, I think that's the fifth one. That's the fifth. That's one. the fifth one. Yeah, maybe maybe even throwing the extra the sixth one. But uh, Trevor is wear like our our jogging suit. So yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. I don't so, have to wear outfit then. So, so how how do you how, do you eat good on the road? Like, do you just only eat at the stadium? Uh, when we so Uber at the eats, hotels we yeah, stay in, yeah. we um we actually have breakfast like the breakfast. Oh, yeah, I got a team whatever. breakfast. Yeah, every every day. Yeah. Okay, so you got team breakfast every day, so you eat eat at the team breakfast. Yeah. And then, do you like it? Is is the food always good? Yeah, I'm basic. I just go eat waffles, basic. bacon. Okay, so yeah. so and then you just eat it. So you don't you don't pay for any meals. You don't you don't do you care about how you eat? Do you care about any of that? Are you you're young? So I mean, back then I didn't. Really I mean, yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah, 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 I'm not just gonna be out here eating. Eating the worst things every day, yeah. but uh, I mean, as I gotten older, man, you know, I uh, you'll learn this little little tricks of the trade. I'm gonna show you this because it'd be sixty, seventy, eighty dollars mm-hmm. for a waffle and some bacon. Mm-hmm. And so, can we roll the roll the video, please? This is how I roll. This is how Mook pull up. You know what I'm saying? I used to be a chef back in the day. I wanted to be a chef when I was young. No way. Yep, so that's how I eat, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then I, I order groceries, and then I cook my food. You know what I'm saying? Look at where that. Do you, where do you get $80 waffles and bacon from? Uh, these these hotels, bro. They're, they're, they're... Oh, you order them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, the ho- like, we have... The, I mean, we stay at a five-star hotel, and, and, you know, if you don't order a lot, they going to tax you you, know yeah. what you want some water it's gonna be twenty dollars you know true. and so and so here we got the burners you know and then we got all the utensils the spray the oil you know when i make breakfast i got jelly in there you know what i'm saying the knife um peanut butter um so when i'm hungry at night i make me a little pb and j i try try and eat really good man because you know, I got ten more years in this thing, so I'm gonna be forty when I when I you know I got to make sure I still yeah. can move around and, and do this. But yeah, like, man, that like whenever you're ready, you know I'm a pat me. Whenever you, whenever you're ready, or travel travel kitchen travel travel kitchens, dog. And, and 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 I think this is gonna be the next the next wave. You know what I'm saying? And so I have my, my chef my chef James actually is. Um, the one responsible for this, um, mm-hmm. yeah, because I had to gain weight, so I, I got I got was small. I went vegan for a little bit, got small, then I got hurt, and I was down like ten pounds. Mm-hmm. And so, this is uh my way of gaining my weight back, and and you know what I'm saying do what I doing what I need to do so I can yeah. be a money mook. I'm gonna take your uh, name, nah. money mook now. Um, so 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 being black in baseball, obviously that's the thing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, how have you handled it? Is, is, is it is it is it rough? Is, is there are there parts of things that you didn't know or, or or responsibilities that you didn't know that now you know being a big leaguer? Nah, I mean it's been it's been pretty cool. It's same cool. same. Yeah, I always. I don't know. I was never. Yeah, I mean for me I for know. me for me it's like, you know. There's there's not very many of us in the game Mm -hmm. and so i take the responsibility of okay i have to grow the game in our with culture exactly in the black culture yeah and it's hard to do it's hard to do because you know we're the minority right and i just didn't know if if you felt that there was something that you've learned 
as you've gotten here. And in, 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 in you're in Atlanta too. So you really, you have, you yeah. have a real deal backing, you know, in yeah. LA and th there's people in LA, there's black right. in LA, but yeah. you're in Atlanta. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You uh, in Atlanta. Being in Atlanta, it's a lot of, it's a lot of black kids that still play the game and want to. I mean, I guess. Do you go out and see those kids or, or do like little camps with the kids and yeah, all those other yeah. things? Yeah, yeah. And I guess it's kind of my job to, I guess, help to grow the game for them and show them that I guess it's, it's possible. And How do you do? What's, what's a way for you to do it? Just me being me. I guess me being me and just going out there and, I mean, I guess interacting with them. Uh, I guess that means signing the ball, having a conversation. Uh, and when you have these com did you have to learn how to talk to kids? Eh? Cause at first I, I had it. I was terrible at talking to kids at first. Cause I just didn't know how to talk to them. Yeah. You know, like they're a lot of times they're at all because you money Mike. Yeah. So they can't say anything. So yeah. they, you know what I'm saying? And so like, did you, you didn't have to learn. It was easy for you. I mean, I guess I'm still learning, but the more, I guess the more I meet it just gradually, gradually get better. It gets at easier. It. And yeah. Easier. Yeah. It gets easier. And easier just to hold a conversation. What about the parents? Like talking to parents and have people asked you for tips and advice and all, how do you, how do you handle that type of stuff? I think that's pretty, that's the easier part. I mean, they're adults. So, you know, you've been talking to adults for, I guess, pretty much my whole career. Yeah. Yeah. So it's easy. Yeah, it's easier, and I guess they understand more. So I have I had a bad time with all that. Maybe yeah. I maybe everything just easy for money, Mike. Nah, I nah, I, nah. I had nah. a hard time. Like people asking me tips, and I'm like, I don't really know. Like this baseball thing just yeah. kind of fell on me, and yeah. now I understand it. But I can give them basics, but if they want to go into depth, I don't really know. I just I just, just do it. Just kind of happens, it, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And so and so, have you had uh, have you had any like random cousins come out the woodwork? Cause that's the thing. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Nobody. I don't know. So everything has just been <laughs> smooth for money, Mike, man. No drama. You just, you know, everything's been good for you. No, nah, just, good, though. just try to stay out of drama. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Stay out the way. Yeah. You got what you needed to do. <laughs> and, and, and now you just stay out the way, stay out of trouble. Boring is always, boring is good. Remember Love that. Love it. Boring is good because there's more golf balls you can lose. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So do yeah. you have money, Mike, on your golf ball? I've had some, but I lost them. So I don't. But you you ain't spending no money, so you got plenty to get some more. Yeah, I didn't buy them. Oh, you don't buy the golf balls either? No, I do, but they were given to me, the money, oh, Mike. Oh, you don't want to you don't, you don't get them more? I can get some more, but it's like, if I'm going to lose them, I'm going to wait till wait I'm till not you... losing this minute. Yeah. Oh, so you got to wait till you get good. So, I mean, I'm already, never mind. So, so, <laughs> at, as you, last year, rookie year, whatever, who, who did you lean on a lot for like advice and how to get through certain things? And you're still young. So there, there's still a lot of things that you could, you can learn and will learn. But like, who is it? Who's like a, a mentor for you or, or, or a example that you, that you look up to? I think the main guy was, uh, Dansby. He was, he was big on, um, I guess giving us, giving us younger guys the information and mm -hmm. I guess the different ways to go about the game and, and how to play it, certain situations, what to do. I mean, what, what certain people like, what they don't like, and I guess how to carry yourself. Is he, is you used to talk to him? No, nah, I mean, I, I talked to him in the off season and yeah, I meant to, I was going to, I was going to talk to him uh, pretty soon, but mm -hmm. yeah, I talked to him a good bit in the off season. So who, who's like the leader for y'all now? Everybody. Everybody. I mean, we just, leader. I guess we're just a collective, collective, uh, group of leaders. I mean, yeah, I got a good, good group of vets over there too. But you, who do you talk to? Like, who do you learn that stuff from now? Cause you, you gotta, you need someone, someone to talk to about that type of I say Olsen. Olsen? Yeah. He's been that guy for me now. And he, and this is his first year. Se second year. Second year with second us. Year, second year. So year. second year. So he, he come in and immediately, like has become like a, a, a leader slash whatever. Yeah. And he, is he an outspoken guy? I haven't really got to meet him and talk yeah, yeah. to him. I mean, I met him obviously, you know, playing, but I don't know his personality. Yeah. A lot of people think he doesn't really have one, but in the clubhouse, he's a, he's a pretty funny guy. He got some, he's a sarcastic guy too. So he, he does, he, he talk, does he talk, a, a talk a lot or is he kind of like just kind of stay to himself? I want to say a lot. I mean, he talks, I guess when normal. Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 So he so what about like trap like Darno? Same. Same. He's thing. funny. He's funny yeah. too. So I play with his brother. Yeah. And I loved him. Yeah. 
Even now, I talk to I talk yeah. to Trav. So, so y'all got. So, what about uh Snit? Snit's great. I had him in the All Star game, and I really understand why. Uh, on top of the players, yeah, but like why the Braves are really good because Snit is a really good manager and yeah. managing the game is is hard to do. Like, yeah. So have you have you learned anything from Snit? Has he talked to you about anything? I mean, he's he's pretty laid back, so he doesn't really, I guess, say anything until needed. But it just lets us go out there and play. Uh, so who to... who kind of governs the team? And when I, I say mean, governs the team, like uh, if you were or like whatever your unwritten rules are, or, or not, they could be written rules. Whatever rules that you you guys abide by as a team, like who kind of runs that governs that? I mean, he'll tell us when, yeah, like. If we do something, then I guess it's not something that's a good look for us. Mm-hmm. He'll, he'll let us know. But, I mean, for the most part, nobody really, nobody on our team really does that. Uh, so You guys, you just got a good group of guys. Yeah. And so, and so, what about, okay, now let me get to this. You, 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 you tried disrespecting me, and I don't really like that. Um, when it comes to bowling, you know what I'm saying? That's disrespectful to me. That's my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> you did come to my event, so thank you for that. You and Lil yeah. Chris. Yeah. Um, but but well, how did you get into bowling? I want to know that. Let, let, let me know how, how you got into bowling before I start talking shit. Sh- shish. Watch it. So um, I was, whenever I went bowling, like as a kid, I would always be the guy to spin it, spin the house ball or whatever. Look at that right there. Oh, nice. There you go, right there. I'll be the guy to That's spin the house ball, yep. make it come back. So I never, I never really got a ball until, I guess when COVID, when COVID hit. That's when I got my first two. So you was bored, not bored, but like you know what? I'm just gonna go bowling a lot more, that more often. No, nah, I mean I always, I always wanted them in high school, but I just, I just never bought them. I mean I guess oh. now that I'm drafted, I, I got them. I got guess the money get, or get whatever. You, so you. so you went and got some, got a couple, a couple balls or just one? I got two. Couple balls drilled, and now, look at that between the legs. I'm I I I'm gonna give it like a, a eight. I'm gonna give it a. Eight. I mean, you was <laughs> look at you. You think I you got are, some harder ones? That. You got some. I, well, let me see the. I I, I want to see the harder ones. I'm gonna give it a eight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a eight. If if you're a bowler, if you're a bowler, you have probably done something similar to that. I don't. You know what I'm saying. You got to go to the backwards, the granny style. You got to do all I've of them. I've done the, uh, like, 360 between the legs. Oh, see, yeah. yeah. Then I would have gave that one a 10. I mean, that was just basic, though. That's that's, that's... a basic one. I ain't want to say that. I ain't want to dog you like that, but, yeah, that's yeah. that's a basic one. You know all what I'm right. saying? So so you got to, you, you, do your, your folks bowl? Uh, my mom did, but no, my, so, I've never seen my dad touch a bowling ball. Have you bowled, do you, have you bowled in any tournaments or anything? No, nah, I wanted to, but... um. Yeah, me and me and uh, Grip, we wanted to. Uh, he has, but you know, it's kind of like a. It's like over the course of some months, so we didn't really commit to it. He would like fill in for for okay. a guy. Yep. But yeah, uh, we wanted to be in one, but there weren't there weren't any that were like, I guess, uh, short short term. So do you, you don't like in the off season, you don't do like an elite a league or anything because I, I come to Atlanta bowl. You know, what I'm I bowl in tournaments here. So Where? I know there's yeah I, uh, everywhere. Oh. I, mean, I know there's tournaments. I know there's leagues. I know the bowling scene in Atlanta is huge. Uh-huh. And so you a bowler? Well, you 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 thank you a bowler. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I do I do want to appreciate you for coming to my event. But next time you come to my event, we are gonna get me versus you. Okay. And we are gonna get cameras right there. All right. And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna just whack. I'm gonna whack you. <laughs> I'm gonna dog you. See, but. Do I get do I get some pins or is it just just no. straight up straight up? Money, Mike. I don't, you know don't any, need no pins. You got like twenty five, three hundred games. You stuff. said uh oh with the with the with the uh, emoji. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you you hot. You ready? You ready for anything at this point? All right, then we got to do just trick shots. Then and I I got you. Why we can't just bowl a regular game? You know what? We can do a regular game and then we can All do right. trick shots. We're gonna do. Both. You got to give me an advantage too because you've been. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You I'm a dog. Balls. Huh? You, you drill your own balls. That's I like dr- I drill. Them. I can yeah. drill you one too. So you might be doing some some shady. Nah, I ain't gonna do nothing shady. I ain't gonna dog you like that. But but 
we gonna we gonna set it up. All right. Deal. Well, we we can we can put some on it since you ain't spent no money. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can dip into that a little bit. Maybe uh, uh, you know what I'm saying. Maybe spend that. I All right, yeah. You make in. sure you like it. Okay. So look, listen. We uh, yesterday we put up on our Bleacher Report app in the story that uh, some questions. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask ask you some questions from the fans. All right. Okay. Outside of your own teams, who do you think is the most exciting player? Slash players in baseball, and this is for both of us. I can give you mine. You, yeah, I let I give you. I let you uh, talk right now, Cunha. I can say that you can't say that. I know. Oh, I know. Otani. It's, yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of different players you can go with. Um, for sure, Otani. Wait, Tatis is always exciting. Yeah, to watch. Um, Every time I get a question like this, I can't think of players anymore. Yeah, I can't. I, uh, um, I don't even know all the. I can't even think of all I, the people. Whenever somebody asks me about players, I, I don't remember them anymore. I, I I really enjoy watching. You know, those are all the exciting people, right? But the yeah. people that I really really enjoy watching are like the Goldschmidt's, the Arenado, mm -hmm. yeah, the Mike Trout's, yeah. You know, they're, they're consistent. Yeah. All Always. the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and the exciting players are also consistent. But those You're like it's consistent. just it's really like the people that kind of they've been on top of the world. Yeah. And now they're just kind of going and you know, everybody's looking for the next, you know, splash. You and think so, you classify for that? I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't be doing nothing. I don't be doing I, let me hear your people though. I wanna hear your people. I go with Tony. Um mm -hmm. like I said, I can't. Obviously, Tatis Electric. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I have to say Acuna just because I can't. Yeah, he can't. I'm going to say it just he because called. I can't. Um, that's good, think? though. I mean, that's good. Like, those are the main people that's – that, and, and you know, there's – Polar Bear Pete, he's, he plays with a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, his game looks a little differently yeah. than those guys, obviously. Yeah. But I like the emotion, the passion that he really yeah, yeah. plays with as well. Um, I got to get in play with him on the WB in the WBC, you really felt it. You know, you really, yeah. you really, really felt it. So I got another question. If you were to face one legendary pitcher, who would it be? I'd probably say Randy Johnson just to see how hard it was to hit him. I don't know if I want to play for Randy Johnson. I feel like he will he will throw a neck ball and it's over with <laughs> after that. But I understand, I understand Randy Johnson, you know, I, I think I would want to face like Satchel Paige because mm. I just want to see what it'll like. Yeah. Back then, you know what I'm saying? That makes sense. You know, yeah. that, that, and, you know, they say he threw hard and all yeah. those type of things. I don't know. You know, I, I, yeah. I would love to see it. But you said Randy Johnson. Well, yeah. Good for you. No, nah, I wasn't going in the I wasn't going in the box with the intention to get a hit. It was just just to see. Yeah, it was like oh, you could just VR that. Nah. It's not the same. <laughs> All, right, All right. So give me, give me, give me, what is your ideal bowling look? And, or, or if you, what would your ideal bowling shirt look like? Or would if you If I was to make a bowling shirt? Bowling shirt. It would probably have a dollar sign. With you <laughs> <in the middle. laughs> nah, I didn't even think about that. I might do that now. Money might? Yeah. Um, I would, would have just be been hoodie? basic. I think it would have been like a little, little, you know what I'm saying, a little cotton t shirt. Nah, I think I would have went with the old school bowling, bowling shirt. Bowling jersey. Yeah, I like that. With, like the, with, the, with the collar. Yeah, yeah. The buttons. And then I guess throw a nickname on the back. You already know the nickname. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I I can't go against it now. Yeah, you got to embrace it. You, you're know. all in on that. Yeah. You got to embrace that now. Yeah, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought about the dollar, but. Maybe the dollar is hard, Maybe. bro. And, you, and, and yeah, the dollar would be hard. I think you should be, and then and then put your face in there. And you can't put like a little. You gotta put like a nice picture in there. You hard. You know what I'm saying? Like probably, probably right before you walk into the Hawks game. You know what I'm saying? Right when you got that face on, you know you walk in yeah. hard. Take a picture then and put that one on there. All right. I got another question for you. Last question. <clears throat> Do you think? Uh, this person says, is this an NLCS preview? Two best teams in baseball. Between us. Mm, I think, I mean, yeah, I feel like 
we're two of the two of the top teams in the NL. And it's, yeah, I say it's that. exciting every time we play each other. So yeah, it's always fun. And yeah. I, I think I think it could be, but a lot of times when it gets to playoffs, it's just about like it's just about like who gets hot. Yeah, because you know anybody anybody can get hot. Anybody can get hot, and anybody yeah. can play, and and that's really what playoffs is, and it's yeah. about riding the momentum. Yeah, it's got you nothing know? to do with the regular season at that point. Right, and so so as you as you as you play as you play, Mike, what's what's the the first thing that you learned that you had to stick to? Like, you know what? Because mine, I'll tell you mine. Mine was I had to learn to believe in myself. Yeah. Because when I started to, started to fail, and even now, even now, like when I'm not playing well, going through the slumps, I had I had to really truly learn to believe in myself and believe in my ability. And so I want to know one thing that you had to you've had to learn. Mine was just always be myself, because I guess when I try to when I try to get out of that and try to be somebody else, be like somebody else, I kind of tend to. I don't know, struggle and, and not be what I've been. It's so how do you, how does that happen though? How do you, how do you forget to, how do you, how do you, you know what I'm saying? Um, Is it just from a little bit of like going through a slump that makes you question it? Or is it something that maybe, maybe someone hit a home run and it's like, you know, I want to, yeah. I want to hit balls like that. Like what, what is it that makes you question it? I think it's a mix of both of those things. I mean, just playing against, Playing against a lot of good players, you see you see them have success, and you kind of want to do something they're doing, and it's not for you, and you kind of you kind of step out of your your comfort zone and, mm-hmm. and try to be different to to have some different results. But yeah, I guess you are for who me, you are, bro. Yeah, it's just just be you, and you are play who you your are. Game. So money, Mike, learn just be you, man. Yeah, just be you. Be money, Mike. Be money, Mike. All right, man. Well, it's good to have you. Appreciate Thank you for it. coming on yeah, here. Yeah. Um, episode three. No, no, this is yeah, episode three. Money Mike. I see you later on, my man. All right. See you guys. <laughs>